We've talked a lot about the process of building your own PC on this channel, from things like why and how you should do it, to even when you should do it. Coupled with all of the videos on individual hardware pieces and peripherals, we feel that we've amassed a substantial library of information on our channel for anyone looking to get into PC building which has always been one of our goals. So we wish to offer our thanks to all of the fans on this channel who have stuck with us over the years. We appreciate your continued support and we hope to repay you by making this channel even greater in the future. But moving back to the custom PC building side of things, we've come to realize that we've never addressed one crucial aspect of building a PC that every novice should know and that is how long you should expect this process to last. Now, since not even acute prescience would allow us to arrive at a single time frame that would hold true for every PC builder, we'll approach this topic by dividing the process into five segments. Preliminary research, hardware acquisition, unboxing and building, troubleshooting, and finally, installing the OS. This will allow us to split the nebulous idea of PC building into concrete chunks that will be much easier to dissect and place in a proper time frame. So with that out of the way, let's begin. First things first, you can't decide on your perfect PC build without doing some proper research. Thankfully, this process is a lot simpler now than it used to be since hardware manufacturers follow a variety of universally accepted standards. Things used to be way more complicated when you had to jump through flaming hoops just to ensure two pieces of hardware were compatible with one another. However, this doesn't mean that you shouldn't approach the research portion of PC building any less seriously now that it's been streamlined. It is the most vital part of ensuring you end up with a well-balanced build that offers the best value for your money. And since this research process encompasses several activities, we like to split it into several phases as well. First, you need to determine what your overall budget is. Then you pick out the graphics card, and this is the most important component in any build, so make sure to get one that best fits your needs, both performance and price-wise. After that, you should decide whether to get an Intel or AMD CPU, and then find a CPU model that will fit both your budget and be powerful enough not to bottleneck the GPU. Once you have the GPU and CPU down, you should divert your attention to finding a motherboard with the appropriate sockets and ports. Then it's just a matter of determining how much RAM and storage to get, finding a power supply that can keep the juice flowing, and a case that can physically fit everything. We've discussed all of these things on the channel already, so please refer to our earlier videos if anything is unclear, as repeating everything in this video would easily make it at least an hour long. In any case, the research process alone can take anywhere between a single afternoon and a couple of weeks. And there's no reason to speed it up if you're unsure of what you want. It's better to wait a while and get properly informed so you can buy a PC you'll love than to regret dropping large amounts of cash on one you'll resent for years to come. Although there are tools that can help you along, like PC Part Picker, which will not only track the overall price of your build but also check for compatibility and automatically warn you about any potential issues. And in case you want the unmatched cost effectiveness of a custom PC without spending a ton of time on research, you can refer to our custom builds linked in the description. You won't end up with a personalized PC since we made sure that these would appeal to a broader gaming audience, but you will get the best bang for your buck, guaranteed. Keep in mind also that we update these builds regularly, so you should have no reservation about checking them out, even if it's now the future and you're watching this video long after its release. But yeah, the research step of custom PC building can take a long time if you're unfamiliar with the current state of the market or just with hardware in general. Or it can take a couple of hours if you already have a good idea of how you want this PC to turn out. In either case, you can always refer to our channel for clarification, and if the problem in question isn't covered by any of our videos, it's probably covered in one of the articles on the website. 
After you've settled on each component, you have to physically buy said components. And this part can also take a while depending on your method of purchase. You can always drive over to a reliable local tech store, buy all of the desired items and start building as soon as you get back home. But there's also the easier and the more time consuming method of ordering the components online, in which case it may take quite a while for all of the components to get delivered, depending on where you live and where you ordered them from. But you can also choose to delay this process unless you're in dire need of a new gaming PC. Why would you want to do this, you ask? Well, to put it simply, PC component prices fluctuate a lot. This happens for a variety of reasons. It could be due to a disbalance in supply and demand, in anticipation of a new release, or simply because there's a large sale going on. We've made a whole video on when the best time to shop for hardware is, so make sure to check it out if the idea of paying less for more tickles your fancy. In any case, this second step can take as long as you want it to last. Once all of the hardware pieces are on your desk, you're ready to commence phase three of the PC building process, which is the unboxing and the actual building. Unboxing, of course, is the easy part, but fitting everything properly inside a case can be a whole different story. Experience alone dictates how long this will take. An experienced PC builder with all the right tools can get the job done in an hour. But it may take a beginner who has to refer to a YouTube video every step of the way a whole afternoon to properly assemble everything. The size of the case plays a pivotal role here, in both scenarios. The smaller the case is, the harder it will be to fit everything properly, which is why we often recommend full towers for novice builders. More space equals more breathing room for both you and the cooling system. And this goes double if you plan on getting a transparent case replete with RGB lighting since you'll want to tuck the cables away from you. Proper cable management isn't just an aesthetics thing. It helps with the airflow as well. If all of this sounds daunting, it's good to remember that there are always stores that will assemble your PC for you, for a price. And there are even online stores that sell and ship custom PCs on order. Neither service is free, but they're well worth the money if the alternative is damaging your hard-earned and expensive hardware. Now you'd think that this is where the process ends. You assemble all the pieces, install the OS, and you're good to game away. But unfortunately, an extra frustrating step has nestled between the assembly and the OS installation. We're talking, of course, about troubleshooting. Here's the thing. It's not at all uncommon for a PC to just not boot up after you put everything properly into place, organize the cables, take in a couple of pictures for the internet and all that, and frankly we'd venture as far as to say that this has happened for most people who've even put together a PC at least once. So you need to figure out what's at the root of the problem. And it could be many things. Perhaps there's a cable that you didn't connect properly, or a mismatched pin. Oftentimes it's just people forgetting to turn their power supply on. And in the worst case scenario, one of the components was dead on arrival. This is easily the most unpleasant part of the whole process, and it could take anywhere between a couple of minutes to several hours just to figure out what the issue is. And since a whole lot of things could be the issue, all we can say is good luck. The internet will often cough up a solution, but getting there can be a grueling and lengthy task. Finally, once the PC is not only assembled, but can also actually boot up, it's time to install the operating system. If your primary interest is in gaming, which is the assumption of this channel, you'll want to install a copy of Windows 10. Linux does have the benefit of being free, but not as many games are made for it, so Windows 10 remains the best option for all gamers. Thankfully, the initial install for Windows 10 is fairly quick. It only takes around 10 to 20 minutes. However, this doesn't mean that everything is properly set up, as there will be plenty of updates that demand the PC's immediate attention. It takes roughly an hour for all of these updates to download and install, but this can take even longer if your internet speed isn't quite stellar. Luckily, you can still download and install other pieces of software while Windows is doing its own thing. And it's easy to underestimate just how long setting all of the miscellaneous pieces of software can take. 
just for gaming, you will need at least Steam and probably Discord. But before you can download either of these, you'll need to download and install your browser of choice. By the time you've finished installing your favorite game, the OS should be just about done hogging all of the resources so you can actually start playing. And that about does it for this video. So as you can see, the time it takes to build a PC can vary a lot depending on the person doing the building. Some people could get everything, and preliminary research included, done in a day if they buy all of the components at a local hardware store. But for others, it could take much longer. Just the research alone could take quite a while if you're new to this, and if you order the components online, chances are you'll have to wait at least a couple of days to get to building. As for the building part, however, it shouldn't take any more than an afternoon, barring some seemingly unsolvable troubleshooting issues or faulty hardware. So there you go. In any case, we hope you found this video helpful. If you have, you can help us out by liking it, subscribing to our channel, and leaving a comment. And if you think this info could benefit your friends, help them out by sharing it. Also, if you want to see more videos like this one, click on the bell icon to make sure you don't miss any of our upcoming ones. We upload a new video every week, so stay tuned for the next one. In the meantime, may your games be fun and your losses few. And as always, we'll see you next time on Gaming Scan.